Hello, I'm Neeraj. Today I will discuss about cross attentions. So, as I discussed in earlier tutorials, that uh, each different different varieties of attention mechanism has some specific use cases. Similarly, cross attention is highly effective in some cases where vanilla self attention is not effective. So, to understand this, we will go through the actual computation steps. Generally, what happens for any kind of attention mechanism, we generally depend upon three things, query, key and value. Query decides the way we put the attention on different different elements of the either text or video or image or speech or anything. So, in the case of self attention, we take the Suppose we are going to calculate the word level attention. So in that case, our query will be some word. And we will calculate the attention with respect to that word. And in the case of self attention, all the query elements will come from the same input text. Means, for example, here suppose our input text X is the cat set. Then all query key and value words will come from this set only or this sentence only or this text only. So this is the one thing. But the demerit is we cannot compute the attention score with respect to some external factors. So in that case of cross attention, we consider the query to come from some outside source. For example, here our query is who is sitting. So obvious answer is cat is sitting. So our goal should be means we should check that whether if we apply a similar mechanism, then whether cat is able to get the better attention with respect to the and say or not. So cross attention generally provides such kind of uh, means uh, scenarios. So now let us go through step by step. So suppose we have input x, so it contains three words. So for each three words, we are creating the array of three into d, where d is a dimensionality of embedding. So we have total four, uh, dimensionality of embedding is equal to four. Now one important thing is that for the, tra with the traditional input at a word level, if we go through the word level embedding mechanism which has no relations with the next or previous words then in that case maybe cross attention will not be highly effective so in that case please try to get the embedding from the word based embedding or some other embeddings which consider the contextually means uh, some nearest words and its contextual importance also. So in that case, it will give better results. So now we have embeddings for input. Similarly, as we said, like uh, similarly, as I said, like in cross attention, we take external query. So who is sitting? So for this, I have used a single array. Now you can ask question that for three word input, I have taken 3 into 4 matrix, but for same 3 word questions, I am taking just one array. You can take the 3 into 4 size embedding matrix, but the things are like, when you ask some questions, then better, if you pass that questions in the summarized way, then it improves the scalability. of the system because here instead of three in all multiplication and tasks you have to handle just one array. Second thing is this is a we can consider or calculate like a summary of the question or semantics of the questions like it is gist of what we have to ask from this input text. So it represents this. So this is another thing. Now some other use also help you to understand why we take this. So, 
one of the use cases like question answering. So suppose you have a source documents and where you want to calculate the attention score. So suppose you summarize the questions like a single word array, then chances of getting uh, better attention scores in the source documents for uh, means, uh, which are more related to the questions is means uh, better. Second thing is like uh, generally we use such kind of cross attention in a multi-model environment. So multi-model environment for example your query is text but you want to retrieve some video, image, speech or anything else. Similarly uh, image captioning. So image captioning may be one another. So image captioning their captions will be your questions or like a query that you want to identify a certain object, actions or something, things in the image. So if you summarize it, then uh, it will improve the scalability also and chances of getting better response also. So these are the issues. So and these are the different different use cases. So other use cases may be like a guided summarization. You are giving some guided information in the form of some guiding uh, query inputs. Similarly, uh, we can use this uh, in uh, like recommendations, some something where everything will up means uh, we can say that the range of applications where the internal calculations will depend upon some external factors means the importance of internal elements will come from some external things. There we can directly use cross attention. So now let us uh, move to the next thing. So next part is the representation matrix, weight matrix. So for each key, value and query. In the case of vanilla self attentions, we take some representation matrix. So this representation matrix, what is this? Generally what happens when we write some uh, neural network like the architecture, then we generally store the weights in the form of neuron and we represent it in the form of matrix. So when the training completes, this matrix got updated and updated through back propagations and at some stage, this matrix contains a very optimal weight and it helps in the uh, model to predict something. So similarly, here we are taking the weight matrix for key and value, but at initial stage, all the values are just randomly taken. Now we will calculate the key and value matrix by using this weight matrix and embedding, text embedding. So how to calculate x into x dot means the dot product of x and wk for v, x and weight matrix of wb. So similarly, we calculated the key and value matrices. Now, the next important part is to calculate the attention score. To calculate the attention score, in all the traditional way to calculate, we use the softmax of query and trans dot product of transpose of key divided by root d, where d is the dimensional key. So here the dimensional key is 4, so 1 by root 4. And for query, now as we take in the query like a single array, so we are not taking that this kind of matrix. We just see, consider that uh, it is one 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 like uh, full one matrix, and it gives uh, same kind of y gives same kind of output like a q. So we will directly take this. But uh, if you want to explore more, you can take some wk type of query matrix and then with uh, this size and then you can explore it like what are the differences you can get but here we are just taking this and after that we will take the transpose of key so key is like a 3 by 4 matrix after transposing it will become 4 into 3 matrix so after that when we complete this internal computations we will get this score after that we will calculate the softmax so this softmax, all three scores will give the outcome, will give the representations 
who would like the first will give the importance or attention is called for the second will get and third will send so based on the question who is sitting so here you can see that the cat is getting the highest attention score means it indicates that we are going towards the cat is sitting after that the next part is to calculate the context vector so it is just like a calculation of dot product of a and b means attention score and value vector so we will take the dot product and this dot product gives this output so generally we use this dot product in all programming part to calculate uh, things like question answering sequence to sequence modeling summarization guided summarization or all other tasks where we are planning cross attention mechanism so this is the general use of uh, cross attention